at ito ay ang second episode ng Heart to Heart with the Madam. <laughs> so, kung naalala niyo last week, gumawa ko ng isang video introducing the new segment in my channel na Heart to Heart with the Madam. <laughs> Kaya may ganon, may paganon. So, ayun, I ask you to submit your stories kasi sasagutin ko yun, magbibigay ako ng love tips, love problem advice, at kung ano-ano pang related sa love, kung mapipili ko yung story nyo. So, ayun, may napili na nga akong story out of the five na nag-submit at uunahin natin to syempre. It's time for the heart to heart with the madam! Welcome to episode 2 of Heart to Heart with the Madam! <laughs> so ayun na, at nabanggit ko nga na may letter center tayo, itatago na lang natin siya sa pangalang Guillaume! <laughs> Gusto nyo yun? Guillaume! <laughs> so si Guillaume ay isa sa mga kapatid natin sa LGBT community. Ang problema niya actually ay meron siyang close friend na para sa kanya ay more than friends na yung tingin niya. Aww. At dumating siya sa point na inamin niya dito without really expecting anything at hindi niya talaga din alam yung reaction. Which is normal kasi hindi naman din natin talaga alam yung reaction ng tao sa tuwing niya amin tayo ng feelings natin for them, di ba? So umamin siya. Ang nangyari daw, mas naging close pa sila. Mas lalo pang lumalim yung whatever it is that there is between them. Oh. Nakakaloka, di ba? Ang problem niya is nakakonfuse siya kasi hindi niya alam. He doesn't know kung ano na ba to? To the next level na ba to? Ito na ba to? Di ba? So, yun yung problema niya dahil nahihirapan na siya. He really wants answers and he wants it now. Kasi now. So, alam niyo guys, hindi na din naman mabago yan. Yung mga aminan, yung mga natatakot kang aminin. Kasi, hindi mo alam kung ano yung ano yung magiging reaction ng tao. Hindi mo alam kung matatanggap ka or if you'll get rejected. Di ba? Alam mo sa pag-ibig, nakakatakot naman talaga. Sobrang nakakatakot and it takes a lot of courage. Nako, yung buong lupalop na nagdaigdig, hahalugugin mo, makahanap ka lang ng courage to really admit how you feel sa someone na yun. Ay ngayon, unfortunately, sa mundo ng chat, sa mundo ng text, kung ano-ano pang... Technology, the way we admit our feelings to the people we love or to the people we admire through chat na lang or through text na minsan nami-misinterpret, minsan hindi nila na-absorb because there's no personal touch, ika nga. So better pa rin kung personal nyo sasabihin, kung personal nyo at masinsinan yung pag-uusapan. So because of that, ito na yung magiging topic natin ngayon. Kaya simulan na natin yung Madam Chikahan. The Madam Chika, number one. Always make your intentions clear. Oh, naitindihan nyo yun. Ibig sabihin nun, if you really are sure that you feel something special for someone, then when you approach him or her the next time, at nagkaroon ka nga ng courage, nahanap mo na yung courage to tell him, and to admit your feelings towards him or her, make your intentions clear. Di ba? Huwag nyo nang paikot-ikutin pa, huwag na magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Just go straight to the point and admit it. Kasi wala ka namang kailangan yung explain eh. You don't owe anybody an explanation. Wala kang dapat ipaliwanag. It's just that you are there and you took the effort of actually telling that person how much he or she means to you. O, di ba? So, make your intentions clear lang lagi. Huwag mong gawing malabo. Huwag mong gawing kung ano-ano pang sabihin mo. Eh, kasi ganito. I think, I think I'm falling. Hindi ganon! Hindi yung I think, I think. You're falling na nga! Nahirap kasi pag hindi klaro yung intention mo kasi nagiging magulo lang lalo ang lahat. Di ba? Na madam, chika, number two. Sobrang importante ito. Because this is the time that I will tell you to enjoy the relationship you have. Think about it. You enjoy the moment that you spend with that person. Enjoy that special moments, those special bonds. Kasi between you guys, kayo lang nakakaramdam nun. Kayo lang yung nagsishare ng bond na yun. So it is important for you to enjoy it. 
what do I mean by enjoying it? Huwag mo madaliin yung mga bagay-bagay. Huwag mo hilain agad papunta doon sa kung saan mo gusto mong punta. You really have to make it to a point na, alam mo yun, masasabi mong na-enjoy mo yung company niya. Na-enjoy mo pag nandyan siya. Alam mo yung mga kapuningan mo, yung anxieties mo, yung, alam mo yun, yung uncertainties mo in life. Put it aside first and enjoy the moment with that person. Kasi napaka-importante nun, not because, not because you already feel something special inside, but because you also have to make sure that the feeling is mutual. You also have to make sure na syempre, in the same way na na-enjoy mo yung company ng isang taong yun, ay na-enjoy niya din yung company mo. If you are unsure of how you feel, then enjoy mo na lang muna. Walang reason pero yung madali ka, hindi ka naman ano, hinahabol ng aso. So, Madam Chica number 3! <laughs> so, ayan, Guyo, may sana nakikinig ka. So, ayan, number 3, take the risk, but be prepared for the consequences. Siyempre, hindi naman natin sinasabi na lahat ng pag-amin, yung mga kaganapang ganon, ay may consequence agad. Pero diba, malay mo, malay mo, magkaroon. Be ready for it. Kasi, you don't know naman eh, how the person will react, kung ano man sasabihin mo. No one knows. At hindi mo din natitimpla yon At hindi mo din kayang hulaan yon In the first place, you're bothered and you're clouded by your own emotions. So, wag mong i-expect na maiintindihan mo ang lahat-lahat ng mangyayari. Lalo na, kapag yung natagap mo ay rejection. Yun. Rejection. Yan yung kinakatakutan ng lahat. Never fear rejection. You have to take the risk. Kung nag-gather mo na yung strength in the world na aminin na sa tao, finally, this is it. This is the day na aminin mo. ba? You take the risk. Kasi alam mo yon. na-way mo na eh, na timbang mo na ano bang mas mabigat, yung cons ba o yung pros ng gagawin mo. ba? For sure naman na pag-isipan mo na yan. Ano pa naman yung mga possible consequence na may ilang siya? But then again, alam mo yun, kung may ilang man siya, blema niya na yun. <laughs> diba? Kung hindi man siya may ilang at marespeto niya yung fact na mahal mo siya and you feel something special for him or her, then ay dibongga ka, susan. Oh. Kung natatakot ka mawala yung friendship, bakit? May kasalanan ka bang ginawa? Kung mawawala yung friendship na yun, then it only means one thing, hindi siya tumunay na kaibigan. But then again, again, ha, hindi ko sinasabi, hindi ko sinasabi na perfect ang mga tao, so be ready for the consequence. Kung ganun na yung consequence, ang tanggapin mo na. At least you took the risk, at least you had the courage, at least inamin mo, at hindi ka nagtago. Kasi wala ka naman dapat itago, because something that you feel inside, for that person, that special something na tinitibok-tibok ng puso mo is something very special. Oh. Konting tao lang sa mundo ang deserving makatanggap niyan galing sa'yo. You are a special person. Tandaan mo yan. Oh. Madam Chica, number four. Don't be too quick to jump to conclusions. Diba wag kang, wag kang praning. Don't make that person feel uncomfortable towards you. Kasi diba, minsan pag nakaamin na tayo, akala natin, kung hindi man siya sumagot, kung hindi man siya nag-react, akala natin, tinanggap niya na ng buong buo yung ano, yung sinabi natin, yung inamin natin, without really thinking of the fact na baka pinaprocess niya pa lang, baka hindi niya pa nadadigest. So alam mo yun, pag tinext mo, hindi lang mag-reply, napapranin ka na, naiilang na sa'yo. Baka busy lang. Baka pinaghugas ng pinggan ng nanay niya. O baka naglalaba, baka nagluluto, or whatever. Baka kung anong ginagawang iba. Charak! <laughs> so, Madam Chica, number five! Ito na nga ang huli at pinaka-importante sa lahat. Dahil lahat tayo guilty dito, huwag kang assuming. Never assume. Diba? Nagkaroon ka na nga, diba, ng tapang at lakas ng loob na umamin. Or kahit hindi ka pa nagkaroon ng lakas ng loob na umamin, never ka pa rin dapat nag assume Always ask. Gawin mong klaro ang lahat-lahat between you guys. Diba? Nakakainis. Kasi lahat tayo guilty. Pati ako. Huwag <laughs> ka assuming, pe. Nag-reply lang sa'yo. Feeling mo special ka na. Nag Sinaway lang yung pagkakamali mo. Feeling mo tinatama ka na. <laughs> Pumunta kayo sa mall, yun ano kanya kung pagod kanya, kung gusto mo magpahinga muna, feeling mo, sobrang care nyo na sa'yo, na parang jowa na ako, diba? Mga typical scenario, diba? Huwag ganun, huwag kayong mag-assume, kasi, alam mo, malay mo, mabait lang talaga siya. Oo, oh, malay mo, hindi lang siya sa'yo, ganun. Sa lahat talaga ng tao, ganun siya. Baka sweet naman talaga siya. 
Ayun, nakikita mo lang siguro kasi kayong dalawa, feeling mo, which is normal, di ba? Feeling mo kayo lang kasi yung tao sa mundo. <laughs> Aminin nyo na, kasi di ba, special someone siya. He is special to you. So, ano magagawa mo, di ba? MU-MU na yan, sinasabi mo mutual-mutual understanding. Sa totoong kwento, hindi yan mutual understanding. Malabong ugnayan yan. Malabong usapan. So, kung ayaw mo nang malabo, make sure na you make everything clear. You clear it up to him. Parang, ano ba? Ano ba talaga tayo? Saan ba ito papunta? Ano ba talaga? This is how I feel about you. How do you feel about me? Alam mo yun? Should we take this to the next level? Hindi mo nag-assume-assume ka dyan. Basta kung kwento mo pa sa buong barkada, kwento mo pa sa buong classroom. Hala, ikalak mo yung balita. Only to find out. Hindi pala ikaw yung mahal niya. Ah, sakit diba? Only to find out na hindi ka pala niya mahal. Only to find out that he's just a nice person. Ang saklap. Kaya never, never, assume you'll never be happy kasi you'll always have that question in your mind kung tama ka ba kung tama ba yung assumption mo or talagang filingera ka lang so guys please we owe me make sure that you know the answer and make sure that that answer came from him pwede tayo mag-exaggerate eh pwede tayo mag-exaggerate so yun tama na assuming tama na yung assumption Just go and ask him or her. So, maraming maraming salamat. I hope that helped you. Yung five chica with the madam. Sana natulungan ka. Sana you keep that in mind. Kasi normal lang yan. Hindi lang ikaw yung nag-iisa sa mundo na ganyan. Masarap magmahal. Masarap umibig. Masarap kapag may special someone ka. But then, masakit talaga yan kapag hindi mo klinaro kung ikaw din ba yung special someone niya. So, bottom line is, Find a way to figure it out. And the only best way, the only way actually, is to really have a decent conversation with that person. Kung ano ba talaga. So, klaruhin nyo yan sa isa't isa. So, kung kayo merong personal love story or love problem or love heartache to share na gusto nyo masolusyonan, gusto nyo masagot, I'll try my best na basahin yun. Just message it to my Facebook page. The Elementary Kid At pag yung kwento nyo Or yung story nyo Yung napili ko Yun yung sasagutin ko sa next video Kaya keep on sharing guys And also don't forget please To subscribe to my channel At after nyo mag subscribe Huwag nyo kalimutan pindutin Yung notification bell Katabi ng subscribe button Para naman ma-update kayo Sa mga bago kong uploads Maraming maraming salamat This is once again The Madam, at pag wala to, the elementary kid. Maraming maraming salamat. Until next time, see you, love you.